Okay, team, Barbell Club for this week. It's going to be the last week of our clean jerk block, so giving you guys a chance to go heavy. Go for our one round clean jerk to show you what you've been putting in the last couple weeks. Okay, now before we go for our heavy sets, we've got one up first, as always, two parts. First one's going to get the heart rate up, and then that second part is going to focus on mobility and stability a little more. Okay, first bit is going to be five minute arm racks, starting off with five up downs. So from starting tall, coming down to our planks, the shoulders with the hands, core nice and tight, back to back. And then we'll bring those feet back and nice close to the hands, bring the hips to the top. Okay, once through five there, you've then got five inchworms. So from starting tall, feet on your hips, you want to try to touch the toes in a straight line as possible, walk out into that plank. No need to press at this time, loading them shoulders and then back up, full extension, finish off that rep. Okay, five there, we've then got ten low angels in our superman hole. So face down the floor first, feet together, hands nice and high, and then you're going to circle my arms round, keep those arms straight. Palms turn up to the ceiling to finish off that rep. And then we'll come back, arms extend all the way through. Okay, these have come up quite a lot in the last couple of weeks, so if you want to add in fractional plates in your hand, you can do. Okay? 10 minutes here, and then we've got five and five wrist rope backs to finish off. So come from the hands and knees, palms turn down to the floor. I'm going to walk back nice and steady, feel that stretch through the wrist, through the forearm. Once I find that same point, pause for a second, and then you You've got five one way, then turn over. Five there. Okay? Nice and steady for those five on each side. Once we're through five minutes of work there, you can then rest a little more. You've got two rounds next, within four quality in here, so no time cap. You're going to start off with two box length duck walk. So, first off, squatting down, hips going back, waist stays in the heels, knees are driving out, chest stays tall. Okay, from here I'm going to roll the weight from heel to toe, driving that knee out, again, keeping that chest tall all the way through. Okay? Walking one leg of your box and then walking back. You've then got 10 bird dogs. So again, it's from hands and knees, shoulders over the hands, core nice and tight. From here, I'm going to kick my left heel back, straighten out my right arm, core stays tight all the way through. Remember, our transfer comes from bracing that core first, then moving our down. If you want to, as a little challenge, you can come from your toes in your hands, so you can keep control without those knees down. A little chance for you there. You then got five pin pulls. So starting off with your PVC in that second round, you can move to a barbell if you want to. As I was setting up in our jumping stance, hands with the thumbs and out from those hips on that PVC, and then setting up nice and tight. So shoulders back and down, lats are strong, chest top. Okay, from here, waist to the middle, my group, ready to drive through the floor, keep that bar close, put his hips to the top. Okay, coming back down, hips going back, loading those hamstrings, shoulders stay over that bar. And then rebend those knees, starting with the shoulders again over the bar to start off that rep. You've got five clean pulls, we're then going to pop that BC up in your front rack and go for five front squats. So elbows through as high as you can, pull grip on that bar if possible, and then hips go back and down, chest stays tall, weight stays through the heels. Okay? Five reps there, and then that BC is coming onto our back, go for five elbow punches on each side. So still hands in that clean grip, one elbow's going to drive up and out. Full grip on that bar again if you can, find that stress, pause for a second, and then come back to the start. Five on each arm, and then you go back to the start again, you can move to that barbell if you want to for the second round. Once we're through two rounds there, we're then going to move into our EMOM first. So every two minutes, four, five, six sets, one power clean, one hand clean, one push press, and one jerk. Focus here is, we stay nice and light, we're just getting comfortable with that bar before we go heavy. Okay, getting our body going through all the positions we're going to need for that full clean jerk. Okay? Again, make sure here you've got plenty of rest time so weight stays nice and light. We're looking for snap movements all the way through. Okay? Power clean first. Set up just we did for our clean pull. Nice and tight on my bar. Weight through the middle of my crew. When I'm ready to work and drive through the floor, bar stays close. I reach full extension. Drop nice and fast in my power clean stance. Okay, so into that core squat. Hips are back, knees driven out. Elbows through in front of that bar. Okay, and then you start tall, reset those feet first, bar comes back down to hip, and then you move my hand clean. So coming from just below the knee there, shoulders over that bar, lats are still switched on, weight still through the middle of my foot. Okay, from here, same again, bar stays close, runs up to five, high jump, all the way down to my full squat this time, landing in our front squat just as we did before the warm up. Again, hips are back, toes and heels, elbows through nice and steady in that catch. Okay, finishing off that rep, three seconds feet into your power stance, go for our push press first. Okay, so hips are going back, 
Bring those knees, we stay in the heels here, and we're still through point the toes. Okay? And then we straighten the knees, push my chin back, punch that bar overhead. Okay, when I finish that rep, core's nice and tight, bars over the crown of your head to finish off that rep. Bars come back down, and then we'll move for our jerks. So split jerk or push jerk, it's up to you, wherever you're going to go for for your one rep. Either way, make sure that hip and drag stays the same. Next control on the way down, and then salary dragging through those heels, chin move back, bar comes weightless. We can then drop into either one of our catches. Okay? Once you're through that full complex, you can then rest, increase the weight if you want to, again, staying moderate on that weight there for every two minutes for five to six sets. Okay? And then go for our final bit every 90 seconds until you fail, one clean and one jerk. Okay? You should be looking at about 30 seconds of rest here. Change your weights first, then you can enjoy that rest before you go for your next set. As we did before in that complex, for your clean, making sure you set up nice and tight, 